is could be a gas turbine uh, powering a generator, and then through a rectifier distribution inverter, and then through the propulsion, which is an electric motor. And so the, that drive train is longer, and there are more components that could potentially fail. Um, so it's important, but additional to conventional systems, it is important to protect the electrical system. Um, in an isolation redundancy, potentially rerouting so that certain parts of the electrical system has failed. So you're looking to provide the power to that actuator um, and potentially reconnecting uh, after a fall. Um, this is another example of hyperelectric propulsion. Um, so this is a more uh, distributed um, architecture where there's multiple um, term, uh, electric propulsor unit. Um, so these are distributed along the wing. And in, in this instance, it's they are interweaved. So if you have a failure of one of the converters or generators, you don't necessarily have.